Hello beautiful people. Welcome back if you are new to the channel and if this is your first time clicking and watching my video, thank you for stopping by. If you are returning, I am so happy to see you again. Let's get started you guys. So Allure Beauty Box, for some reason this month it got a little bit lost twice actually once in new jersey and the other one is in brooklyn but it did finally arrive so yay for that today is december 20th if i'm not yes today is december 20th so let's get through the brochure and then we will start with the products so we have the little if you want to read through it all the information and then each product i'll go by each page just so that you don't get a glare if you want to pause it and read it by yourself hold on I'm, I'm trying to find without the glare for each so for some reason this month it feels a little thinner which is a little bit unusual but let's see maybe the products will be nice you can never know with these items and then a little advertising for their other boxes as well as you know sometimes the box can be big but the products are not so good and then the opposite can happen you can have a small tiny box but the products are incredible and we the first item we have is shampoo dry shampoo so here you go let's see if it focuses 15 centimeters so you know okay six inches i was about to say you know it's a european product if if they tell you in centimeters i have never tried um uh, using this um i do sometimes use dry shampoos um when it's uh, a real emergency i do want to say that it doesn't really work um as good as for somebody who has a little bit of thicker hair i do have thinner um or thin hair I think it works way better on somebody who has thicker hair. It, it disguises more um, rather than somebody who has thin hair like myself. And it just looks f like a fluff instead of just a full, nice, clean hair, I guess, or head of hair, right? Um, but I'm blabbing. Next item is static nails. These are very pretty. You Reusable pop-on manicures. I do not have high hopes for these. I never did. I know how my nails are and I know what works. And if it wasn't for the all the negatives of the gel manicure, I would be getting gel manicure every single time, week after week. Um, they do kind of weaken your nails. So I do have to take a break sometimes. But look at these. These are so pretty. This is a... Trying to have a focus... This is like a half French. It, it, I have to say it is very pretty. Uh, the color of the French is a little bit on the ivory or beige color rather than like a, a soft or baby pink, I would say. So this is a little bit on, on a... It is nude. I just prefer to have cooler tones rather than these warm tones. But this is very pretty and this is very unique how it doesn't go all the way down so it's not... In this case, it's not symmetrical, so it's only like a half crescent kind of thing on the angle. But these are very pretty, I have to say that. Uh, it wouldn't stay on me. I'm very active, you know, I do things, arts and crafts, I, you know, sew, cut, I do little projects. So this would stay on maybe for like two seconds or while I breathe in and breathe out and then poof, that would be gone. But they are pretty, I have to say that for sure. Next item is, where are you? This has to be it. Okay, let me read it first. Yes, yeah, so it's that side. It says Rosie Perfume Oil by Rosie Jane. Right now you can see that right here. Let me see the ingredients. Here you go. And then let me read this side. It's um, Nude Musk Sweet Rose. Feels like sleeping in your birthday suit. Naked and subtle. And this is Clean Beauty. And let me see if I can smell this and let you know to my best ability. That's the bottle. And let me see. 
Um, okay. Not my thing. Um, they did say it right. I'll, I think that's a kind of a pretty um, description of what they say here. I don't know. Again, it's hard to read here, but it says um, sleeping in your birthday suit, naked and subtle. I do. I do want to say that yes, it's it's naked, but it's naked more like soapy. It's like a clean soap, um, a nice soap, but still a soap. And not to put anybody down, but if you are into um, very subtle, very because um, I don't want to call it subtle. You know what I'm taking it back. It's not subtle because it has vanilla notes, which can be a little bit too much. Um, it's not for me personally. I wouldn't use it, but I would be interested in something that's oil, like a perfume oil, um, which would be more natural, but with a decent smell. I want a decent smell, you guys. I want a perfumey smell, but an oil. That would be that would be nice. If anybody knows what I'm talking about or shares my, my perspective, let me know if you found something. So again, obviously perfumes and fragrances are not healthy for us. I cannot get over it just yet. I'm still stuck on them because I like them too much. But I would enjoy a healthy dose of oil rather than perfume or fragrance. If you know of one that actually smells nice and decent and not like you're wearing something herbal, please write me a comment. I would love, to, you know, I would need any help. Like, I'll take it. I, I would appreciate it a lot. Next, I think this is uh, some kind of sample. I think this is a freebie. Uh, so this is a sample of a serum from Mario, Mario Badescu. And it's a tiny little, let me see if I can take it out so I can show it to you. Here you go. Tiny little thing. I think I already have this, but I don't remember which, which company actually I got it from. But this looks very familiar. And the next item, possibly the last one, let's see. And this is a lip, lip mask. Okay, I'll take a lip mask. Uh, Dr. Papa. Okay, not very excited about Dr. Papa. I'm a little bit, I have to say one by one, so it is sealed. I don't want to open it. I did try another Papa in the, in the red tube, if you know what I'm talking about. I was not really excited about that. Um, everybody was hyping it up and I'm like, okay, let me go try it. Because it's a lip balm and it's nude and it's, you know, it's supposed to be good for you. And I was like, let, let me try. Um, I wasn't excited about it, I have to say that. Um, it just didn't do anything for me at all. Next item is Hydro, Hydro Primer. Okay, so we have a primer. Little tube here. Let me see the size. So here you go. I was trying to make it focus. So it looks like it's only up to here. And then I'm not sure what this is all about. Let me see if I can see a little. Yeah, it's a little deceiving. But it is a primer, so we'll try it. And I think I saw a little brochure there as well. Let's see what's in here. And I think we're done. This is it, you guys. And this is from Amoid. And this is a lighty, tiny little sample of some kind of ointment, first aid ointment. So this is it, you guys. Let's see. Let's count how many items we have. So yes, it is way smaller than the previous boxes of Allure Beauty Box. I'm a little bit surprised, not pleasantly. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five six so we got six items unfortunately out of those six items three or one two three four four of those are tiny samples so this i would take as a regular item this is a nice little size uh looks like regular size uh these babies right here are tiny little samples which um I would have to say a little bit of a letdown for this month from Allure Beauty Box. Um, I would expect them to go all out on it's December, it's holidays, it's Christmas, it's New Year's, um, I mean Hanukkah. So 
a lot of people are celebrating a lot of holidays. So I would expect companies to go out with with the last month of the year and just kind of blow it out of the water. But it doesn't seem like this. Um, I think the same thing happened with BoxyCharm as well, which was a little bit disappointing. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what happened this month, but I'm not excited. I think this is the first time they, that Allure Beauty Box uh, has let me down just a tiny bit. Not not a big deal, like right? I'll I'll get over it, but uh, a little bit disappointed. Um, just because again, with all the advent calendars, with all the competition, with all the uh, little gift sets that everybody does from I'm talking about companies um, it's a little bit of a letdown that Alert Beauty Box did not bring its game for the last month of the year and just kind of you know uh, yeah anywho so this is it if you have any comments or if you don't feel like I'm right or you have your own thoughts please write below I would love to hear them um, or if you've got different products, maybe it's just a, a fluke, but yet they printed the brochure. So I'm sure others got the same products. So thank you guys for watching. Um, it might be the last video of the month, uh, just because today is the 20th and then the weekend is going to be the holidays. Uh, there might be one more next week, uh, but I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for being present. Thank you for spending your time with me. Um, I hope you have a happy and healthy holidays with your family. And uh, I will be seeing you possibly next year. Uh, I mean, stay tuned. Um, new year, bigger things, better things, um, new opportunities, new... It just it's it's I'm 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 excited. I'm just sharing you sharing my thoughts with you, just um kind of ranting, but um I'm excited for 2023. Uh 2020, 2021 was a little bit of a blur. 22 was trying to come back to reality. Um hopefully 23 is gonna be a turnaround year for us. Thank you again and I'll see you next time. Bye.